feeling good? I'm in Los Angeles right now, away from my kids. You got kids, you know what I'm talking about. Get up all early, want to eat stuff you ain't got. I want the Captain Crunch, the Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> we ain't got that. <laughs> that costs five nineteen a box. We ain't got it. <laughs> they want to act bad, have them little temper tantrums, you know. I live by one rule in my life. Your kids bother you, bother their little ass right back. I depressed mine just recently. I put them both in the car. I said, Daddy about to take y'all to McDonald's. They was excited. We're going to McDonald's! We're going to McDonald's! I drove by 45 McDonald's before I stopped that one. They was in the car losing their damn mind. I just, I just, You passing it? I gonna be good. I, just, I love you. I just, you ain't my real daddy, no damn way. Get him back. Wanna act bad, man? I saw my little boy get into his first fight just recently. Got into his first fight at the park. You know, as every father in America, I stood back and watched for a while. You know, little boy can't hit my son real high. Blah! I was like, damn! <laughs> then my son got busy, hit the little boy back. I was like, you damn right. <laughs> that little boy had kicking my son ass all in the wood chips. <laughs> I was like, damn. I went over there, I was like, you see you bigger than my son. Where your mom and daddy at? He was like, they gone. <laughs> They gone? Oh, it's on now. That little boy beat me and my son ass. I'm feeling good today, man. Just messing around, just celebrating my birthday. My mom came by the house, bought me a bunch of vitamins, took me to this little health food store, bought me a bunch of vitamins and messing around and bought me this stuff called colon cleanser. <laughs> I swear to God, those of you don't know, colon cleanser is like ax lax to the 10th power. You take a colon cleanser, make sure you got vacation time left on your job. <laughs> this colon cleanser for real, I swear I ain't lying, it's for real. Me and my kids in the car on the way to the babysitter, I messed around and sneezed. <laughs> oh, <I do>. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! Nah. My little boy was like, no you didn't. Spank yourself, spank yourself. Spank yourself, daddy. Look, kids wanna act bad, man. I don't believe in that, man. Get them back. Get them back. I'm under the pressure. You wanna have a little temper tantrum. You ever see them in the mall showing out? Parents trying to look all adult, walking with the kids, kids walking way behind. You're like, come on. I'm not gonna come on. I'm not gonna come here. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, little man, you gonna come here. Because grown folks be to have temper tantrums. We should, like when our bills come in the mail. Get that car payment in the mail. You should be able to go right to the credit place and show the hell out. <laughs> I'm not going to pay it. I'm not going to pay it. They'll come get their car too, won't they? Be walking your ass to work the next week. I should have paid it. What happened to your car? Somebody stole it. <laughs> Things just crazy, man. My kids driving me crazy. That's one thing that bothers me all the time. My kids and them damn bill collectors. Either kids or bill I can't stand them bill collectors. <laughs> Call your house all sneaky. You don't even own the phone no more, do you? You ask your phone, like, hello? They're like, what up? <laughs> You're like, who is this? Oh, nothing, man, just cooling out. What's going on with you? No, what's up, man, who is this? Nothing, man, what you do last night? Nothing, man, what's, what's going on? Who is this, AT&T? <laughs> you a good parent, your kids want to be just like you. They do. My little boy and little fella want to get up in the morning and eat what I eat for breakfast. I get up back in Detroit, I get up eat like some brand cereal, some roughness, clean my system out. My little boy want to eat brand cereal. This ain't for him, he ain't got no boo-boo control muscle yet. <laughs> he want to have a temper chapter. I want to eat some brand cereal with you right now, please, okay, right now? I said, you said. I'm like, all right, man, come on. I gave him the biggest bowl I could find, put it to the brim, I made him eat every spoonful. We back in the living room watching Sesame Street, my little boy looking at me like, I got a boo-boo right now, please, okay, right now? I said, 
I'm like, get up, man, run. <laughs> Took him a half an hour. We back in the living room watching Sesame Street. <laughs> I don't feel good right now. <laughs> okay, right now. I said, I'm like, what's wrong, man? He in there a long time, man. I finally said, come here, man, what's wrong? <laughs> He's like, I make a mistake right now, okay, right now. I said, I was like, come here, man. He stopped in the hallway. I was like, don't move, just stay right there. He had boo-boo all over, a boo-boo on my shoe, <laughs> my leg, my elbow. I boo-boo on my neck right now, okay, right now. I said, I'm like, man, I can't help you right now, okay, right now. I said. <laughs> Cause it ain't right, man, it ain't right. I grew up too broke, man. Grew up broke, man, I ain't gonna lie. All I wanted back in the day was a pair of Converse All-Stars. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Remember the 70s All Converse cost $12. That's all they cost. Kids' gym shoes cost way too much money now. My little boy wanted a pair of six now out of gym shoes that light up when he walked. Look, did you see the ones in the little ones that light up when he walk in the back? They cost $69. You in the first grade, you can't dunk a damn thing. You don't qualify for these gym shoes. We get to the gym shoe store, he wanna get loud. Dad, I want the light ups, Dad, I want the light ups right now, okay, right now. I said, I'm like, man, you don't qualify for this. I want the light ups, Dad, I want the light ups. I'm thinking, keep getting loud in the mall, and I'ma light your ass up. <laughs> I had to finally light his ass, going to wear these for a while. They'll light up. He walking around two weeks later. They still not lighting up, Dad. <laughs> they not gonna, they not lighting up. I'm thinking to myself, they not gonna light up. I bought them at the grocery store where all my gym shoes came from. Remember them grocery store gym shoes your ass couldn't play duck, duck, goose? You couldn't play circle chase, you couldn't play none of the games I was sliding and busting your damn head over on the gym floor. I grew up broke as hell, man. Grew up broke, man. Grew up broke. I couldn't stand growing up broke. With cheap hands. My mother and father used cheap. I hated stuff like school clothes shopping. Remember school clothes shopping back in the day? School, I couldn't stand school clothes shopping, man. Because my mother and father would never buy you anything you wanted to wear. They would only buy the stuff that was on what? On sale. Didn't matter what size it was. Whether it was little boy clothes, little girl clothes, they didn't give a damn. The first day in sixth grade, I had on a pair of Levi's and a halter top. <laughs> it was like turning around backwards, they ain't gonna know. <laughs> I hated old sale stuff. Needed a pair of gym shoes one year, bad. Some gym shoes needed them bad. Get to the gym shoe store. The bowling shoes. <laughs> on sale. Now I'm in gym playing basketball with some damn bowling shoes on. My boy passed the ball, I rolled that mug right back. <laughs> and all I wanted was a pair of Converse All-Stars. Back in the day, I swear to God, that's all a brother wanted, was some Converse All-Stars. My mother looked at me like I was crazy. Mom, can I get a pair of All-Stars? She was like, boy, you better get a job. Now I'm 11 years old, stressed out, trying to find a job. I'm applying at Ford, Chrysler, IBM. What's the only job your little retarded ass can find? One of them little paper routes. Paper route manager cussing your ass out every day, telling you ain't nothing, you ain't nothing. You can't collect the money on Friday. <laughs> your self-esteem all messy. you like, you ain't nothing even though too. Cause you a grown ass paper route man. <laughs> Major job so messed up is that grown folks don't wanna pay the little boy. Some of y'all sitting here right now got brand new expeditions, brand new Lexus trucks. Don't want to pay that little paper boy. He's stressed out. Got to ring the front bell, run around to the side bell, knock on the basement window, come back to the front door. You want to send your little retarded cross-eyed baby to the door talking about something. My mama said, she not home right now. <laughs> Ain't that what you said, mama? Life is too serious, man, I have fun. I believe in having fun, I've been fired from jobs, you know? That's a bad feeling getting fired, ain't it? 
Ain't that a bad raggedy ass feeling? You get to work that day. You get to work that day. You're the only one on the job. Don't know. You about to get fired. You getting up doing normal stuff like going to get coffee. This one coworker hate your guts looking talking about get it to go. <laughs> Put a lid on it. Cause your ass up out of here. I hate the way some brothers lose their mind and get them corporate jobs. I had one of them little corporate jobs back in the day, man. Brothers get them jobs, lose their mind. You can't even speak to them in a the hallway. You can't even keep it real. I hate that. You see a brother, you know, in corporate America in the hallway. You a young brother, you don't know better. I don't know better at the time. I'm just like, you know, I see a brother in the hallway. I'm like, what up? He's like, how are you? <laughs> I said, no, dog. They ain't around right now. I said, what up? How are you? <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong, man? They got cameras. <laughs> well, how are you? The life is too short, man. I got some messed up relatives. I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't gonna even lie. I got one cousin, man. One, I love him to death. My one cousin, I love him to death. But he a crackhead, heroin addict. How you gonna be on crack and him? <laughs> one drug take you up, one drug take you down. He do both drugs, he's paranoid, run to the window and nod out. <laughs> I got some cheap cousins, man, just cheap. They just cheap, man. You know, I have a barbecue every year at my house. I tell my cousins, you know, come on over, man. Come on over, enjoy yourself. But they started exploiting me, not bringing no food, nothing. My last barbecue, I said, this year your ass eat what you bring. <laughs> my one cousin brought cups. <laughs> work it out, work it out. <laughs> Crazy cousins around the country. I was down in Lake Charles, Louisiana just recently. Had a real good time in Lake Charles, Louisiana, man. Them some crazy gold teeth wearing brothers and sisters down there. <laughs> they got some gold teeth. My cousin came to the, he came to the airport. Dog, dog. Dog, you ain't gotta stay at no hotel. You come stay at my big house. <laughs> I'm like, all right, it's cool. I'll come to your house. <laughs> I swear to God, in all my life, I ain't never seen no roaches that big before. <laughs> I ain't laughing. You know the roach is big as hell when you go in the kitchen, cut the light on, a roach with the light back off. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm in here eating, player. <laughs> so they big, man. When you go to bed, you want to get in your rest on, and a roach come in and cut the light on. <laughs> Talking about, now you know how I feel. <laughs> and he got two gold teeth. <laughs> Went to church yesterday. Church day, yeah, y'all go to church? Yeah, yeah. yeah, go get your prayer on, man. Go get your prayer on, man. I hate watching some of them old scary movies. Them scary movies are crazy. Don't, they, don't you hate when the devil win? Like in that omen, and the music, the music be scary in the movie, don't it? The music, oh, this, 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 That's when you got to go to church, man. I hate when I ain't been in a while, though. When you ain't been, you feel guilty, don't you? You go to church, you ain't been in a while. You feel like everything the minister's saying, he's saying it right to your ass, don't you? You sitting there trying to chill, he like, oh, all in the hotel, butt naked last Saturday. Drinking gin and juice, smoking weed, only got one condom. Oh, you don't hear me. You sitting there like, I think at this point in my life, God, that I worship, got to have a sense of humor. I think God got to bust out laughing some days. We do some stupid stuff, God got to look down some days. It's just like, oh, y'all be tripping. He got to laugh. See us doing something stupid? Like bungee cord jumping. With a 145-foot bungee cord, 95 feet <laughs> to the ground. God, like, oh, you about to bust your head wide open. <laughs> Come on home. <laughs> you got a ladder. 
See somebody on a freeway in a snowstorm drinking Jack Daniels in a vet doing 90 miles an hour. Come on home. Got a space here to duct tape to the bathroom wall. Tell me I ain't gonna fall in the bath water. This that new kind of duct tape. Come on home. At the zoo, gonna cross the yellow line, say, don't cross the yellow line eating a steak sandwich. The line ain't ate in two weeks. <laughs> Come on home. The little man in San Francisco standing on top of the radio tower, pretending like he gonna jump. Accidentally slipped and fell. <laughs> Come on home. I wanna hear what Sister Rosa Carl really said that day on the bus. You know she didn't say, say no, a young black woman in a hot ass down south. <laughs> somebody asked her to get up, uh, can, you have, can I have that seat? I'm a white man, I'm supposed to have that. She was like, like boy, you better go on somebody. I'm gonna work eight hours, boy, you better get your ass off someplace messing around with me. I'm tired as hell. You tripping. <laughs> See, it's the media create problems. Like with the OJ trial, the media came out and found two slain bodies. The first thing that came out and said is that my man Ron Goldman put up a great fight. I was thinking it was myself, but he dead though. <laughs> that ain't no good ass fight. A good fight to me, you get stabbed two or three times. Jump out the window, run down the block, call an EMS. That's a good fight. If you get stabbed 40 some times, you was getting your ass kicked. What this good fight look like? Oh, OJ gonna bring a knife. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody going to hell in here. I'm just tired of folks bothering people, man. Tired of homeless folks sometimes, you know. I give my money when I can. You can't give all the time, but I give when I can. You know what I'm talking about? I give when I can. Like in my neighborhood back in Detroit, it's been a brother at the gas station for the last year and a half asking for change to get home. <laughs> He caught me in a bad mood last week. I was like, damn it, you are home. <laughs> Your ass live on pump five. <laughs> Anybody get them old 70s whoopings? <laughs> Would you just like halfway into the whooping, you'd be like, kill me. <laughs> just kill me. I had one of my mamas to beat you, and she would go to work. <laughs> Would you be this for? Because I'm about to leave. <laughs> I don't want you messing up while I'm gone. <laughs> Mama, you crazy as hell. One day, me and my little brother sitting around crying, watching TV. You know, she had one rule, she was gone. Well, Mama gone? Don't use my phone no matter what. I'm sitting around crying. <laughs> she gone, dog. She gone. We sitting around the house crying. <laughs> she gone. Watching TV. That 1-800 child abuse commercial came on. <laughs> My brother was like, gone, she gone. <laughs> Call the number, bus on her. I called the number, she answered the phone. <laughs> Put my phone out before I tear your ass up. <laughs> Family is important, man. That's why I don't understand some of these families do crazy stuff. I can't understand for the life of me, what's up with Latoya Jackson? <laughs> I wish I had a brother as rich as Mike. Anything his ass did, I'd be down with it. Anything he did. You want to make love to a llama? I will hold the llama in a headlock. Everybody got one auntie. That's crazy. Anybody know a lotto fanatic? I, my aunt, she a lotto for now. She gotta play it, man. She don't care what time she play it, as long as she put her numbers in. She don't care. She lotto crazy, man. I ain't gonna even lie. She call you ten minutes left before they cut the lotto machines off. Come get me real quick. Come get me real quick. I had a dream. I had one too. Rest on it. Come get me. Come get me. I go pick her up, man. Take me real fast. Then she get right to the front of the lotto line and embarrass you. Come on, let me get triple zero. <laughs> and box it. <laughs> I'm like, what you boxing for? I'm going to catch it whatever way it come out this time. Black folks, we always look good when we go out. All over America, not just L.A., Chicago, New York. 
all over America, black folks, we go out. But you know what, man? Men's clothes cost way too much money. Way too much money. Ladies, y'all got it made. Y'all can go into a mall with $150, leave out with summer stuff, winter stuff, Cancun 98 stuff. Let a man go into the mall with $150. He leave out with some drawers and some layaway slips with some more drawers. I went to buy a suit just recently in Detroit. Brother gonna show me a suit cost $1,800. I was like, man, I'm a comedian. <laughs> he was like, buy the suit, player. I'll throw the tie in. I'm thinking I can buy the tie. Throw in some of the suit. It costs, man. People who dress nice are crazy, man. You can see a brother who dressed real nice, he'll drop something, pick it up like he's doing some fashion runway model. You see a brother who's real smooth, he'll drop something, be like. <laughs> it's a crazy show, man. Did a fashion show in New York City. It's the craziest show I've ever seen in my life. It was a sick show. You ever go to a fashion show and see like a really good fashion show? This show was so weird, because all the models in this show <laughs> was all midgets. Can you believe this? <laughs> This one little brother came out modeling $2,000 Armani suit. I swear to God, my man was modeling just like this. <laughs> That's a joke, dog. My man looking at me like, for real? I did that joke one night in Chicago. It was a midget sitting about where he's sitting at. Little bastard got mad. After my show, he bum rushed. He's talking about, do it again, I'm gonna get up and kick your tall behind. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, I'm 5'9, 200 pounds. I'll whip one midget's ass. I got outside, he must have made a phone call. Because it was 45 of them little bastards outside. I took off running, they was all chasing me just like this. Let them get real close and take off again. <laughs> I'm glad you guys came out to support BET. My name is Mike Bonner. <laughs>